Hey guys, how you doing? It's Layla here and today I'm going to be doing a little follow me around um, the resort and kind of do a little tour of the room, the lobby, um, the buffet and just sort of the grounds, maybe the pools and things like that. So this is um, the building I'm staying at, Villa 20 and um, just wanted to show you guys what it looks like from the outside. So let's go follow me and I will take you into the room. It's a beautiful sunny day. I've been lucky. Every day has been sunny while I was here. Not once did it rain. Um, sometimes for half a day it's a little, um, you know, a little cloudy, but I mean, nothing to be sad about because it's, sometimes it's actually nice to have a little bit of a sh shade because it's always sunny. It's really hot, but I'm not complaining. I love the heat. So let's go follow me. We're gonna go into the room. Key like this to get in. So, in and out. Oh, it's so nice and cool in here. Alright, so, um, I guess we'll just turn the camera this way and do a little tour. So this is what you will see when you walk in. And just turn on the lights in the bathroom. Um, so, the room is over there, and the bathroom is over here, and there's so much echo. <laughs> so we'll go through the room in the closet first. So here's the closet, lots of closet space. Um, let's just do an overview and then I'll go through each thing. So it's a very large room, I think. Um, even just if you're like two people, I think it's more than you'll ever need. So. Um, here, I guess the way it's separated is your sleeping area, dressing bathroom, and then over there is kind of like your um, lounging area. You can read a book or just take a nap or whatever. And then, you know, if you want to sometimes have some snacks or drinks or whatever and just chill in your room. Um, I like the architecture. It has a little bit of interest of the arch and the columns and everything. It's not just a boring old room. It's warm and it's cozy and the bed, <clears throat> I've heard people on TripAdvisor say it's not comfortable, but personally, it's fine. I mean, I slept like a, I slept, I've been sleeping like a baby throughout the time I was here. Well, now so let's go through everything and I'll show you um, the closet space. So it's quite large, lots of room. And this is where I stacked all my stuff. So my clothes are all, are all there, my shoes and jewelry, a few pairs of shoes, a few clothes, um, swimsuits, and that's all my stuff. Um, in here, perfect spot for your luggage, and I keep mine on a lock, and all of my um, you know, valuables are in there, like passport and stuff. Um, you can use a safe, but it's right here. But it's like five dollars a day or ten dollars a day i don't know something like that which to me is silly i mean just put it all in there and keep the key with you and you don't have to worry about it so anyways here you have a little fridge and um you know just the usual like water and some pop and beer. right here is just a coffee maker water um you know a few of their i don't know just different i guess golf resorts and stuff so the TV that I never once used and those are empty and I usually just leave my bag there and then whatever else is here so that's that over here is nothing I haven't been sleeping on that side I've been sleeping on this side um, and just I have some of my books this is the stack that I've read that's the stack that I need to or not need to just read this is just a journal so um, yeah, so that's pretty much the room. Oh, yeah, this is the cutest thing ever. Every day they do different designs with the towels. I mean, I know if you guys ever travel to resorts, it's a customary thing, but I just think it's so cute. Every day they do something different. Today, I guess it's a Scorpio. So, Andre, this one's for you because <laughs> he's a Scorpio. So, yeah, that's the um, room. That's me right there. Hello. And let's go into the bathroom and do a little tour there. Here obviously is a tub and a shower and um, one design flaw I would say is this right here, this glass. Um, no matter how hard you try to be 
um, careful, water ends up everywhere. And I am a very, like, I, I, you know, take a shower carefully, not like splashing all over the place. But this thing needs to be, you know, at least up to here for you to comfortably, you know, another foot or and a half or two even. Well, not maybe not two, but I mean, you literally need, how much space do you need? Not more than this to get in and out. So anyways, it's not a big deal because you can always just put some towels there for the water. But that's just a little um, design flow that I personally would have you know, changed if I could. So here I have all of my makeup um, just neatly sitting there. Toothbrush, perfumes. You guys have seen all this stuff already, but anyways, that's just a quick overview. And then all of the products that I've been using every single day. Um, I literally do use every single thing that is here. Um, <clears throat> this is the blow dryer that I've only used once actually because I've just kind of been letting my hair air dry and then some nail polish there and this is really cute so what I usually do um, if you guys watched my um, what do you call it get to know me or one of those videos um, one of the things that I collect is sand or earth or whatever from wherever I travel so I just used one of these shampoo bottles and I just emptied it, washed it and I put some sand in there from the beach. So this is just like a little thing to remember. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you want to see what I look like, if you miss seeing me, this is me. Um, a little quick outfit of the day, I guess, if you will. Um, wearing this romper from Forever 21 and I have it in three different colors and I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable. And the back looks like that and I paired it with these um, just kind of like little fancier flip-flops with the little jewels there and I have this ring I think it's from forever 21 as well it's blue the lighting here is really bad but here you can see it's blue and gold and then I have some um, just like bracelets there gold and black so that's pretty much it. Now um, I'm gonna go and kind of explore. It's my last day here. I should have mentioned that, but um, well, second last. Tomorrow at 4:15, um, I'm being well. We're being picked up. Whoever's going back. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go and do a little bit of shopping. And I actually forgot to show you the balcony. So let me just show you that part. So you can sit there and kind of enjoy a drink or whatever. And I have, I guess, a better view than some people. It's, you, it kind of looks out over one of the pools. And this one is the activity pool, they call it. So it's always like loud music and different activities, which I've been staying away from. But I mean, if you want that sort of thing, it's awesome. So here you can sit. Hey guys, how are you doing? So right now we're at the lobby and I wanted to quickly show you what the lobby looks like. This is the lobby at Koba. So um, let me show you the front. So this is where you would get dropped off or picked up um, or if you're ever looking to explore the grounds or go to the beach, um, this is where a car, like a shuttle car like that would pick you up. Well, not that exact car, but a similar one. So. And then this is what the lobby looks like. So right there is the reception um, where you would get checked in and checked out. Right there is public relations where you would do your um, reservations or I guess if we had any other problems, I don't really know. Um, I only used it when I had to do the reservations for the restaurants. So um, yeah, it's large, it's spacious, it's clean. Nicely decorated. I don't know what else to say. Um, over that way is the buffet. And then that's how you would enter the resort through there. So right now I'm gonna go have lunch and take you guys with me. So I'll show you um, the buffet once I'm inside. So here we are at the buffet. There's all the seating. Um, and then I'll just quickly run through all the food that's being offered. So here's like the sushi station. Um, here's the Mexican corner. And then 
Over here is like cheeses and kids menu. And here is meats. Here's seafood. And then here's like an American corner with hamburgers and fries. <clears throat> Thank you. Here's a friendly cook that uh, made some special shrimp for me. Here's some mini hot dogs and stuff like that. Pastas. Pizzas are over there. And then, I don't know, just different, different things that I don't really um, eat. And then here you can make your own pasta and choose your own ingredients. Here is... Um, right now I should mention there, it's all finished. So whatever you see is like the leftover, but um, it's like vegetable um, chop soy they call it. And then here again some different type of vegetables and butterfish and all kinds of stuff. Here is the best, my favorite is fresh bread. And look at this, how cute this is. How cute is that? It's a little turtle. And, and this I guess is a, it well, wasn't a turtle, this is a crocodile I guess. Um, freshly baked bread is my weakness. So that's pretty much it. Here we have some, they call it a healthy corner, but I don't like anything from here, but that's because I'm super picky. Here is, um, I don't know, I guess you can make your own granola and stuff. Here's fresh fruit that I wish they had a better selection, but this is my favorite guava. Guava, guave, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it, but it's really good. And then some other fresh um, fruit salads. Here is some, I guess, condiment or I don't know what this is called, like pickles and stuff. Condiments, maybe? No, I don't know. Um, some vegetables, salad stuff, more salad stuff. And then here we have sweets, dessert. So, lots of choices for all kinds of eaters. Even the picky ones like me. So that's pretty much it. Um, again, there's some more vegetable salad stuff here. So as you can see, it's quite a large selection. So then in there is the bar. So this is mostly, I would say, for the servers. And then here's what you would sit. Very large sitting area. So all the way there and all the way here. Very hard working stuff. So that's pretty much the main buffet at Kobo. So this is where, um, if you're staying at the Koba resort, this is where the car would drop you off um, from the lobby of the Koba resort. And you would come up to this little walkway and this is what the amazing, beautiful sight that you would see. I hope you guys can hear me through the wind. It is rather windy, so um, it's really gorgeous. I love the turquoise color right there. It says Playa Coba. And here is what the beach looks like. So there's a little pierce there, or deck, and then there's another one over on that side. It's really gorgeous. If you want to make sure you grab one of these, um, I don't know, places to lie down. You want to make sure that you get here probably by 7.30 as um, it gets packed pretty quickly. It's easier to find a spot for one. That's mine right there, but I would assume that if you are a group of a larger numbers, it would be rather difficult. So anyhow, this is what the beach looks like. This is the Koba Beach. There's three different resorts, like I said earlier, so this is, this is for Koba. Let's walk over there and see the view from there. It's so beautiful. I seriously wish I could have this in my backyard and have this like, you know, every day. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? With the crystal clear water, you can see everything. And there's little fishies, actually. 
I don't know if you can see the fish, but they're everywhere. This is what um, the view from here looks like. Stunning. Oh, there's the fish. See that? It's quite large too. So here it is. Alright guys, so that's the, the uh, Playa Cova and I will see you guys soon.